Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. This week, we're going to learn about a very famous movie theme song from Lion King. Have you ever heard Sucker of the Life? It was a song by Elton John. I also posted Can You Feel the Love Tonight back in the previous lesson. If you want to see it, you can watch my other lessons too. But today, with the Circle of Life, we're going to learn new technique called Grace Note. It's just like a little decoration note on the music. So make their main note looks really pretty or graceful. So let's see how it goes. Now look at the score. What do you have to do first? Yes, check the left hand pattern. If you see the left hand pattern, basically plays the bass A, D, and G. So it repeats like twice and then if you move it up to the third line, basically plays one fifth basic root chord position. So you're stepping up and step down to G and B. So basically it follows the basic simple chords. All you need to do is find the chord right away. So first, we will check the left hand bass. No, it starts with a C, but the rhythm is E slow. So one, two, three, four. But in the fourth E note, and then the fifth one was tied. So how are we gonna do? One, two, three, four. So rhythm pattern is one, two, three, four. There's nothing on the third beat. You just hold it. So just remember the rhythm pattern, and it's played the same way. Move it into the A. One, two, three, four. There is no play on the third beat. The same way, if you move it into the next measure, on D, plays one, is changed and then the next measure is simply G on every beat three four that's it and then you repeat the same rhythm pattern on the second line too and if we move it up to the third one basically C chord you leave it out the middle one and play one and fifth note so one two three four and D minor which is you just So pretty simple. And then the next chord is G chord. Which one is G? G, B, B is G chord, but you play it on the B. So bottom of the B and the next note is G. So this position. And then C chord. You shift it bottom to top and that's going to be C chord again. So basically simple chord position, but the hard part is you have to find the chord position right away. And A and D. So you find a D and come up and B flat chord. So you go B flat and F. That's the B flat chord four times. And then G chord, but the bottom is on the B. So shift it down and go up. over and over again. What you need to do is you have to find the chord position fast so you can play it smooth. Then what you need to do is just practice positions. until you go to measure 25. If you move it on to the 25 and refrain, the left hand chords changed to three notes pattern. So you play it C again and C seventh chord. So do you remember the C 
seven score, say from the whole step down. So you play it one and seventh note, and then now here you play it three notes at the same time. So B flat chord with the D on the bass. So D F B flat is the position. And then the same thing again, twice. If there is no chord written, you play the same note. And then F chord, how you do? Shift it down to five to one. So do you see how I go? Like this. And then repeat again. And then D minor chord. So you shift it up from do you see F to shift it up the top state. And then G chord, but D is on the bottom, so D should stay and the last of two not going up like this. And then on the bottom so D is the same G goes to the F like this so one note changing it do you see and G seventh chord the same G seventh chord but this time you move it on to the G B F and then C chord but G is on the bottom so like this so up to here it's pretty confusing because you have to play three notes at the same time and position keep changing so only this part, you have to practice a couple of times. I guess this is harder than the first two notes playing. So practice tip is you only take it out the chord and practice the changing position. So, is pretty confusing because the chords changing and you have to keep playing on the right rhythm on the right spot so maybe you need to practice the left hand a lot before you add your right hand now we checked all the left hand so we're going to move it on to the right hand melody line melody line is pretty simple except 16th note with a tie that makes you really confusing. But don't worry about it. I will tell you how to play it easy. Right hand starts with the C chord, but the G on the bottom. And then the next one is A minor chord. So just bottom, move it A, and then it becomes an A minor. So basically the first two lines are the introduction. If you see the music video, it starts with this nice introduction. And what about the next one? The same A minor chord, but you go with finger number two and A, and maybe you can stay with finger number two, or you can change to three. I prefer to change to three, but some people, it's easier to play the same finger. It really doesn't matter. The important thing is the next note. Now, if you see it here, this is our lesson point for today. Grace note. Do you see little note with a slash? And then the note is, looks really small, right? This is we call grace note. Grace note means adding little decoration right before the main note. So make their main note looks really pretty or graceful. Just like, you know, you wear a nice little dress and added one decorations on your dress. It can be a flower or it can be a, like handkerchief. Record best note, grace note. So the grace note is E, and the next note, extra note, is D minor chord, A, D, F. But how are we going to play it? We have to connect and go smooth. So to play 
grace note well, you have to connect the time note between E and F. So how we play it? Drop and go. Do you see? Like this. So that's why when you play grace note, fingering is really important because you have to connect the note. You cannot connect the old note, but at least you have to connect time note from E to F. Okay? Because this grace note meant for the main note, which is an F. Got it? Some people play it, play it each note separated. That's not right. Grace note is always should belong to the main note. So going like this. Do you just need to practice a couple of times and see which finger is better? Normally we don't use finger number four because four and five is weak. So it can be three, four, or three, five. If you really prefer four, three, five is okay. But you have to make sure your notes are connected. Now we will move on to the next. If we keep playing, the next one is A, C, and you play it again, the same thing. And B, G, B, G. So this is coming from the G chord. Do you see G, B, B, and G is just, you repeat the G again. So every note is coming from the G chord. G, B, G. This D with finger number two, so that you can play the next grace note well. If you see the next note, B and E again. Do you see how it goes? Smoothly landing on it. So D, E is slow motion. If I play it, D, E connecting it. Again, the same thing. And then another grace note. The same thing. And the next one. D, E, F. So make sure when you play this chord, instead of playing each note, hold it the time note. Lift and go. So that you can connect the melody line the sound will be smooth. Up to here, that was the introduction. And then the next part is where the actual melting line starts from. That part, I guess it's easier to play both hands together. So from the very beginning, we'll start both hands playing together. So from now, we will play both hands together in slow tempo. So left hand starts on the C and right hand starts on G, C, E, C chord, an inversion. Ready? One, two, three, play. One, two, three, four. The next one is A, moving to A. So just both hand, thumb move up. Part. 
four. And if we move it on to the next one, D minor, here, another grace note. E, F, you drop and move it on to the D, but your left hand match with D chord. So,